woke up this morning. This, I would like to introduce you to the members of New York Parkour. Parkour is a fascinating style of movement. For your challenge, we want you to create a piece about motion. You'll be working in two teams. We'll divide the gallery in half to create two separate exhibitions. Each team will plan their exhibition and decide how they want to showcase motion. You will all make individual pieces and as a team, make those work together. Before I came to this competition, I worked as a curator in New Zealand, so I have a lot of experience with this sort of thing. The hard part is that we all have to make our individual works and then make them all work together as a group. And I know that's not going to happen if our initial concept isn't strong enough. Now it's time to separate you into teams. I am going to split you down the middle based on where you're standing. Michelle, everyone from you to your right is one team. And the rest of you are the other team. My team's awesome. Young is smart. Lola's really crazy and intense. Leon, that kid's brilliant. I think we have a good group, but we also have the wild card, man. We got the suck lord. Who knows what's gonna happen with him and your group. To help inspire your team's theme of motion, you have some time to spend with our friends from Parkour. Then you will walk back through the streets of New York, seeking movement along the way. There should be no shortage of inspiration. You will have until midnight tonight and only a few hours tomorrow to complete your pieces and curate your gallery shows. Good luck, and if anyone tries any parkour, don't hurt yourselves. <laughs> Awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah. I think just so we can get all on the same page, every person here should just have a few minutes to just check in where they're at, what they're thinking. There's a wide variety of different artists on the team. I'm thinking this could turn out really great or really bad. Okay. I was thinking of doing something with stop motion, with yeah. spinning 360, with the parkour people doing motion. I was thinking more like the game of mousetrap, where one action sort of triggers or leads yeah. to the next thing. And like, like digestion. I would love, actually, to do a pooping piece. <laughs> <laughs> poop. What does that have to do with motion? Nothing. When you're attracted to poop, I mean, she has immunity, so she doesn't even care about winning. So, Michelle, you're poop? Yeah. Okay, I'm chew. I want to do the stomach. We feel like digestion is such a good idea, we're sticking with it no matter what. I was thinking a migration because of a problem, like, this thing's happening. So you gotta get out of there. People right. to move. Right. It's evolutionary. It's cultural. Like there's yeah. different ways we can think about migration. Like decay and deterioration through yeah. time. The team decides with the idea of migration, but we all have disparate ideas, and I'm not sure what they have to do with motion. I honestly don't worry about what other people are doing. I really focus on my own thing. I need that guy. Tell me how my technique is. Can you get up? Okay. I've always done gymnastics, so I want to do a piece that has two people simultaneously doing handsprings in opposite directions. Can you just see that? Yeah. That was awesome. We're still going to take a walk For together sure. right now. Everybody, it's time. we got to go. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. Let's talk about the goal of what we're doing right now running around New York. Are we gathering materials? Gathering materials. Yes. We get a chance to walk around the city and be inspired by this energetic feeling of city motion. We were thinking what materials we could pick up and unite the work with, and it could give us more of an advantage. Hey, look, there's some part of the board. Anyone want to eat this? Ooh, OK. I started doing this as a child, and my family said, no, you can't collect junk. And that was one of the reasons I moved to the United States, oh, was no. because I felt there was more respect for art, more opportunity for working in art. Take the whole thing. Stop them in here, Lula. I just thought what they were talking about seemed so kind of more metaphorical, <laughs> and it was, like, kind of beautiful. Walking around this city makes 
our group a little bit more confused. My thing is, I think whatever we choose, we have to always keep in mind, how does it move? You know, what does it do? There's this undercurrent of uncertainty about how we're going to execute this and how it relates to motion. Still can't get too far away from the original idea of motion. Not really exactly sure where it's all going, you know, as far as the digestion ideas. I feel like we're in trouble. I must admit uh, that I'm worried about everything I've seen. I just don't get it. He's like, start over. I suggest that we use this area for our meetings just because most of us are over here. Yeah. Jasmine. Today's challenge is to do a group exhibition, but each one of us is to do an individual piece, and it's all supposed to flow together within this concept of motion. I was thinking how I would make this kind of intestinal, kind of stomach weird organ pouch-like thing. Growing up, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. It's a digestive disorder. So I think I've always been a little more aware of my skin and my body and what's going on. This is gonna be a challenge. I incorporated this idea of migration into my piece. <laughs> Those are so great. It looks like you guys are both like levitating. I know. I'm supposed to be the intestines. Who's the first She's making here? something out of your poop. Each person is gonna have a specific part of digestion, and that's including pooping. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Now, I'm here for my studio visit, and I want you to realize there's going to be only one winning team and the winner will be part of that team. So you better be on the winning team. <laughs> it puts the pressure on. The whole losing team is on the hot seat and none of us want that. So what is your team working on? <laughs> Somehow we all came about the basic idea of something digesting something. So like, does it start with an object and then it goes through all these motions and ends up rises whatever something grows and then that's what was eaten to begin with. So like, there's like this the full circle. Yes, we are each one part of the machine. So like, I'm the I'm the mouth, like the chewing. Uh, Dusty's the swallowing. I'm gonna be the stomach. The stomach. I'm the intestine. Whose idea was it? Amongst you. I said I would really like to make a sculpture about pooping. When she mentioned poop. We started, that's what got us to digestion. So poop was a key word. It's basically like almost like a speech to the point where he's like, digestion. It's interesting that what we saw this morning with parkour inspired you to do something about very, very slow motion. And uh, will the viewer understand what that visual journey is and that it is about motion? Uh, I'm not sure whether this will be the case. Well, you've got a lot to figure out still. Yeah. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank God for that guy. Simone was right. He was like, digestion is slow and disgusting. I knew it was a bad idea. Can I ask the other group to get together here? So, how are you all doing? Great. Good. What did you decide to do? We're talking about migration of movement of time in different periods of history. Doing a piece about war and uh, the migration of people from North Korea into South Korea. And Lola is talking about phases of the moon and how that uh, affects water. Catherine and Jasmine are both working about movement on the internal body and the external body. And we end with Leon, who's doing a piece about... It's like the evidence of movement. It's the aftermath of, like, a conflict at the home. So things are broken, but it's completely still. Now, maybe we were at a different uh, place this morning. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I just find it... You made it too complicated, too conceptual, and I, I don't get it. Simone? Can you explain to us your piece and how it fits into the, what you're all trying to do as a group, which I still, quite frankly, haven't figured out at all? Okay, um, so when, I, when we were talking about motion, I got this visual in my head of, of this kind of, this organ or this thing kind of just like uh, falling. I made this internal structure that I'm about to photograph as if I did a stop motion of the impact point. 
I must admit uh, that I'm worried by what I've heard from both groups so far. I think we should just all reconvene. Can I ask the other group to come over here as well? Can I ask you all to come over here? We aren't even halfway through our critique when he stops everything. This cannot be good. Listen, I'm really very, very concerned because I haven't even finished with the second group yet and I just don't get it. Uh, you are for these amazing parkour, people leaping around the place and there was motion, there was energy and now one group is speaking to me about digestion, about pooping. Uh, the other group, some of it is the moon, some of it is migration. I don't see any common thread and I don't see at all what it has to do with what we've asked you to do this morning. Both groups are now on a track where you will utterly confuse the judges. I have seen very few works so far, except Catherine's, and which for me is on its way to become the exact twin of her work in the first challenge. Uh, I am concerned. This is what came to me, so this is like what I'm executing. I mean, I don't know, I'm just I'm interested in getting... I'm giving you my reactions at this stage. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and, and, and you're looking uh, at this, not the photograph. And uh, <laughs> what I'm suggesting is that you all regroup and think what you want to do, because there is still time to change if you decided to do so. He's like, start over. Use all the time you have left to the fullest. Good luck, and I'm sure you're going to all be brilliant. Bye-bye. As he can't relate our ideas to those guys jumping around the park. Did it have to be? No, it didn't. I'm lost. No. Now everybody starts getting nervous. Like, are we really going to abandon everything and start from zero? I think we need to think more along the lines of fun. Yes, fun. The guys jumping around have to be our starting point. Because one thing I thought of when I saw them was like, a, like kids, like monkeys. It could be like a playground. Yeah, amusement park playground. That would be great. The concept is now playground idea. So everybody's choosing a different kind of movement that actually happens in the playground. Now it's about, like, let's all be quiet for a while and do our thing. I think our theme has to be movement. Toss all that other crap out okay, the window. Like, can we stick with what we're doing right now? And then we start incorporating elements. Young saying that we should get rid of it all. I'm just saying, I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm saying that I think we should be willing to let go. I can't help but try to become the informal leader because I've organized exhibitions, curated shows before, and I feel like I can use that to help the group kind of keep focus. <laughs> I have a new idea. Yes. Let's listen, let's listen. Yeah. We really need just to make it simple. Ball. Just try really hard. No, I was to just saying we have to let ball Leon finish threat. talking, please, because he doesn't can't doesn't have a voice and can't interrupt the way I'm that sorry, we all I'm... interrupt. I know. I'm just saying. It's like okay. I do it too. It's just I just did it. It was my fault. Don't worry about it. Go on. So they're balls and make them move in yeah. some way. That's the concept. <laughs> nice. The ball, the circle, the orb. I like that. Everybody is going to incorporate a ball or a loop, circular things. And we agree that that's going to be the theme. Let's use it. Let's make it simple. Let's do it okay. quick. It's about balls. Awesome. So, I'm going to make something that make goes in a circle. Okay. Circles are going to be one of the formal things that yes. we include. Yeah. Everyone's well, work should have Mine those. won't be an exact circle, though. I, I, I'm i still fixated on what I'm doing. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I can't seem to get past to another idea. I, what if you created, like, more of your kind of weird organ stuff and then had them, like, exploding into each other? Like a looped video? I don't know how to do video at all. What? It's not, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I, that, I don't know if yeah. I... Yeah. Sorry, I'm just not feeling well. <laughs> I don't know, I'm playing with all these different ideas, but I, I want to be inspired by the materials and how their potential to move and sort of interact with the audience. I'm so happy that our team decided to start over and incorporate circles and things having to do with turning and revolution into our pieces. I'm gonna make a flag. The theme of circles made me think of a Japanese flag. While the piece operates on a very physical level of motion, it's also very subtly talking about Japan and the tsunami and the earthquake and all that chaos. with what I wanted to do, but I'm gonna make a video having this kind of continual loop of objects coming in and out of the frame. Catherine's looks a lot like her artwork from the first challenge. Organs and the inside of the body. I wish she would come up with something a little different. Put the bucket on. Everyone's gonna wrap the hose around the bucket. 
We wanted to tie everything together in the show visually by using circles. So I see this bucket and I'm thinking the bucket's round. Maybe I can wrap this rope around the bucket. And then I wanted to use these hand clappers that would be spinning around. She's got orange in her piece. I'm going to paint this. I'm afraid of that being too dominant. Two's is often off the mark. I don't think he has really great sense of what is good, what is bad. Yeah, for us an orange, yes. I wouldn't want your whole piece to be like, oh my god, orange rubber thing. You will be a good little hanging ball. I've encased a large amount of shredded paper in a cage of hot glue. I don't even know really what it means. Usually I manage to come up with something. Lola has a kind of funny piece. I and mean, she was going through all kinds of stuff. There's a bunch of crap. And as much as I love her, the judges are going to think it's a piece of garbage. I was born deaf, so I was always fascinated with what was visual. Someone who doesn't depend on hearing is not distracted from seeing everything. So I think I have a huge advantage over the other artists. The story for this piece is a husband and wife fighting, and there'll be a light bulb hanging, going around in a circle, and the light will cause the shadows to move, and it should be interesting to see. changed our idea and now we're moving into the idea of playground higher resolution it's really important for me not to be on the bottom again i kind of have a, a chip on my shoulder in that regard what i decided to do is a video and it's me spinning i think it's a really cool way of showing playfulness you know when you're a kid and you just stand in a circle and just spin it's turning out good but i'm starting to get really nauseous Getting there, right? Yeah. My piece is gonna be called Flip the Rat, and it's a Coney Island style carnival attraction. I'm a big fan of Coney Island just because it's like a playground of sorts. Okay, that's not it. The biggest challenge is to make sure that the game actually functions. I wanna play your game. You'll get to play when it's ready. Is baby doing okay? Yeah, my fan now. All right. Well, don't let her forget about me. I've got a family at home that I'm used to spending every minute of every day with. I love you. I'm praying for you every day. I'm thinking about you. Just call me when you can. I love you. Okay. Love you, too. Okay. All right. Bye. Have a day, Bye. Being away from them is definitely pretty hard. So my inspiration for my piece comes from this lonely idea. Hope this works. I'm making us teeter-totter. I'm making a full-size printout of myself, which is going to be on one end of the teeter-totter, like a kid being alone at a park. Maybe I should have made a picture of my wife to sit on the other end of the seesaw. Handsome fellow. We all have a lot of work to do because we had to make some big changes. That turned out really good. I'm impressed. It's one minute. Oh. Don't die, don't die. I know, we survived. I was scared that we weren't gonna have finished pieces right. for the show. I, I know. Do you think you guys are gonna win? I think we have a chance now. What do you think? Honestly, we're going to win tomorrow. You sure about that? Yeah. Twos was feeling pretty confident that our team, Loop, is going to win. I'm not so sure about that. You know, with Twos, it's almost like his attitude is so positive that it just kind of bulldozes over what's actually happening. I feel like whenever you say you're going to win, you're tempting the foreshadowing gods. Chop, chop. All right, make some art, you bums. The vibe on a gallery day is really tense. I'm really liking my piece, but I'm not an individual in this one. I have to worry also about the group and how it all works together. Go ahead. 
I need the entire hour to finish my piece. I hope that the judges will see that there is a beauty in these objects that I reappropriated as a piece of high art. What do you think? Yeah, it's working. I'm impressed overall with our team show, how we had circles in all our pieces. I look over at the other team, and their show looks kind of weak. It's a little juvenile and too literal. Next to Lola? Yeah. Awesome. I feel like the flip is enough of a reference to a circle. Yeah, so much energy. It is what it is. Oh, we really want our show to look really strong. I'm rushing a lot because I have to get all the footage on the computer and I have to not throw up on myself and edit it. Come on, render, render, render. I was almost eliminated last challenge, but I'm really confident with this piece. It's exciting being able to finally show everybody what I can do. All right, let's hang this piece. I'm curious to see how all the other pieces connect. So, Lola, I'm just going to give you two small walls. That was what I was thinking. I'm nervous, but looking around, there's things that I think are way less interesting than what I've made. Sarah Kay's piece, I don't get it. I think Bayate's piece is really simple. You can't just move around like a maniac for the movement challenge. Can we slightly move everything so that it's spaced nicely? Yeah, yeah. Now that I'm seeing all of our pieces together, I don't know if this sense of movement is that clear. Let's go to the wall next to that one. Because I've taken on this role of leader, I'm worried that I'm the one that will have to sink with a sinking ship if we lose. Coming up on Work of Art. It doesn't have a lot of action to it. No. This is just very weak. Did any of you have movement in mind at all? <laughs> Please welcome back your judges. First, we have Jerry Saltz, senior art critic for New York Magazine, and Bill Powers, owner of Half Gallery on the Lower East Side. Hey. And your guest judge this week, a friendly face from season one, art advisor and curator Jeannie Greenberg Rowiton. <laughs> Jeannie Greenberg Rowiton, I know from last season that she does not spare or mince words. This week, we asked you to work in teams and create two gallery shows about motion. Let's open the galleries and see how you did. Let's get this show in a row, eh? Spring the trap, you flip the wrap. So clearly, they all talked to each other. They said, let's do a playground and amusement park. I think that our show is strong, and I think it shows more about motion than the other team. It says eat dirt. I mean, I'm afraid to ask, but what is... Oh, that's, that's a, a tongue. tongue. I like the way the piece looks, and I like the way that it interacts with my group's pieces as well. It is a ride, but it's a ride that you do with your eye. I made an abstract roller coaster to link in with the idea of the playground. You have a sense of movement, even if the train isn't on the tracks. Ding! I made something which I don't normally do, and I think it's fun. I'm really into the performance aspect to it. Oh, there you go, a consolation prize. Real simple, just a kid out there playing around. I want my piece to remind people the beauty that you're able to see when you free yourself from the limitations of adult thinking. I'm holding it. My teeter-totter piece, and at first glance, it's kind of funny, but it's about being alone as well. The title for our project is Loop. This is consistent with having some sense of a circular movement. I feel great about my work, but I'm not sure that the whole show is as articulated as it should be. When I see the judges move to my piece, the hand is just not spinning anymore. You know, I'm definitely apprehensive. I hope that they can see that it's about movement. Let's go. There's a strangeness and fragility in this big ball of shredded paper, so I'm kind of into it. 
The title of my piece is called Quake because it brings you immediately to the idea of what's happening in Japan, and the flag is moving very subtly, almost like the tectonic plates of the earth. I've never ever shot video before. I'm feeling very uncertain about the piece, but I'm happy that I took a risk making a video for the first time. With the swinging light, it kind of gives it like a Hitchcockian vibe, right? I like that people can see the light and the movement of the shadows in my piece. I think it's a very successful piece, and I'm very excited about it. Did you do good today? I think I did okay. This show is very strong. Thanks. It definitely gave us two different shows, but one was the clear winner for us. The winning show is... Play With Me. I'm really surprised. I mean, the other team seemed like they were doing pretty much kid stuff. We have two favorite pieces in your show. Bayate. Michelle. And one of you will be the winner. The rest of the team, you can head home. Good work. Bayate, let's talk about your piece. When we saw the parkour folks, I was thinking about when you're a kid and you just spin around and it's a lot of fun and how that childish joy is a certain innocence and purity that's in all of us. I can imagine this taken to a number of different kinds of art venues and it's just a simple gesture. Very nice. Thank you. They just seem to fall right into place and it's strangely mesmerizing. You know, as humans, we want to categorize and organize things in our head, and it's kind of hard to pin this piece down, and that's what made it so enticing and mesmerizing to look at. It's fantastic. Thank you. Bayate, Michelle, one of you will be the winner tonight. Congratulations. Bayate. You are the winner of this challenge, and you will receive immunity and cannot be eliminated next week. Congratulations. You made a true work of art. Thank you. It feels really great to go from being on the bottom to being on the top, just because I was kind of able to show everybody what I can do. It's like redemption. Baite, we were really impressed with the simplicity and the execution. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can both head upstairs. You must be so excited. Yeah. Loop, what happened? The concept basically started with the moon and the beginning of time drawing water up through all of human wow. evolution. Did, wait a minute. Did any of you have movement in well, mind th this at was all? before this was before Simone came. We narrowed it down and simplified it to simply circular movement. So we thought the circle would so be your show our theme. has something to do with circles. Absolutely. Every single piece. But to just have your theme be circles is so general. That's like saying, we're just going to have the theme be paint. I guess we missed the mark. Three of you have the least successful pieces. Lola, we'd like to talk to you first. Walking around the city, I found this huge bag of shredded documents from a doctor's office. And I saw these patient ID numbers and little bits of diseases. And my idea was to put them back together. It just presents as a, uh, a mess. Visually, it really goes against the idea of movement. I did have a totally different idea that had moving parts, which I scrapped when we changed direction. But finding shreds of documents from a doctor's office, there's so much you could do with that. And instead, this is really underwhelming. The next artist we'd like to speak to is Twos. Let's start your crit. I thought that I could use this hose to kind of reference the textures that you see in the city and this hand, which was going around at the beginning of the show. You can hit it, which is also motion. 
I don't know how you would know that you're supposed to move it around. I don't know what it does if you do move it around. Did you think at all about using what you do on the street and just simply bringing it into the gallery? I did. All this is spray painted. It looks like scuffs on a taxi cab. I don't see the scuff marks. I don't see the taxi cab. I don't feel the city. Well, it's because it's a bad minimalist art object. I. So you think it's a successful piece? I do. I do. Wow. Thank you very much, Toos. Thank you. The third artist up for elimination tonight is Catherine. The piece started off with parkour. I noticed they would land very hard on the concrete. So I was thinking about that point of impact. The show was supposed to be loop and circles. So yeah. your video was on a loop and that was your... Yeah, I was grasping. I'm sorry. This work looks uncannily like the work you made last week. It's just been this kind of obsession and way of handling these thoughts about existence within the skin and pain. And You're not pushing yourself hard enough. So what you describe as experimentation could also be seen as a limitation of means, vision, thought. And that concerns me. <laughs> Sorry. Are you crying because you don't feel well? Or Is you just... Yeah. <laughs> Apologize. This <laughs> is quite embarrassing. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. You've given us a lot to think about. Please head up to the studio and we will call you back shortly. They were, they were brutal on y'all. I'm having a difficult time navigating this whole process. I'm like completely confused. Well, loop unraveled. None of them really took on the idea of movement. They didn't really think about how their work related to each other. And they gave themselves a ridiculous rule that they had to include the circle. Let's start with Lola. If Lola had suspended this from the ceiling, you might have gotten a sense of motion or elevating this dead material. And she never gave it life. Twos. Another inanimate object. Lifeless. A prop. My concern is that he was defending his piece. He yeah. seemed really self-satisfied, very happy with wow. it. Wow, yeah. it was just nothing. Let's talk about Catherine's splat. Somehow, this thing never integrated itself into motion. She returns to her most familiar vision of color, material. By doing so, she let down her entire team. She's there with a bucket of guts and a video camera and not much else. I'm gonna go to the roof and I'm gonna chant and get my head on straight. So have we made our decision? Yes. Yes. All right, let's bring them in. The only rule in art is what works and none of your pieces did. Lola. Your piece didn't have any sense of movement and looks like something you pulled in off the street. Catherine, for a group show, you gave us only your vision and it was something we had seen before. Twos, for a work of art about motion, your work was static and communicated next to nothing. Lola, Catherine, Twos, one of you is leaving us tonight. of art didn't work for us. It's time for you to go. Thank you very much. I appreciate your critique very much, and I will use it, and I will push myself. Thank you very much. Bye, Catherine. Feel better. It's kind of a relief that I should go home. I need to take care of myself right now. So, that decision was made easily. I'm going home. <gasps> really? Oh. You are a soldier, yo. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. I love you. I'm always a person who's extremely hard on myself, and to hear push yourself harder, it kind of hurts. Aww. Aww. I'm a very ambitious and determined artist, and I feel that I have something to share with the world. 